Hey, Dao. Can you hear me? Hello. एक भी अगर मंगा दो तो देखूंगी कैसे ना मैं इसको इसी दान दे रहा हूँ तभी मैं बात कर रही हूँ All right, hello, uh, hello, and welcome everybody. Thank you so much for joining me. Good to see some of the familiar faces. Good to see people all the way from Chennai, Delhi. Uh, I think we must thank Shepherd Path International for you know doing this and being gracious to allow me to all add everyone across. We've got people from Anantnag and from Kolkata, Jharkhand. So it's great. We'll start as uh, we always do, probably in just two minutes' time. So just bear with me. We'll get everyone else joining in. Hey Bharti, how are you? Good to see you here. Absolutely. Hold on. You are mute. Are you unmuted now? Yes. We. How is the pandemic? Good. <laughs> it's doing all good things, you know. Right, right. Most of all, most of all, I'm what I'm happy about is um, with the virtual classroom, the, it has let the uh, cat out of the bag, and that's where this emerging need of teachers training, you know, is like you know, I think. Uh, is paramount now. I mean, they've realized that, you know, this is the time for skill development and teachers need to be trained definitely, most definitely. Absolutely, so, absolutely. Now we can't hide back behind, uh, you know, uh, the screen. we have to come in front of the screen that I'm doing now. But thank you so much. I think you are one of the early ones who encouraged me to do a session and, and prompted me. So I think this, this I owe it to you as well. Thank you. Is that me that you're talking about? Yes, yes, you absolutely. You know, I saw a message and then uh, of course there are a couple of people I need to, you know, really wonderful. And congratulations for your for your certificate, for your, she's, she's my colleague in MBA education. So congratulations, they're officially here, Bharti. Thanks, thanks, thanks. There we are. Uh, We'll just, just you know, uh, the waiting list is very important. A lot of people ask me how is uh, you know uh, Zoom. We've been doing a lot of entire session. In fact, we did an entire hub schooling uh, with with around sixty children 
from from Saudi to Singapore and most of them in, in India. But it was amazing. It was wonderful. I must thank all of you who attended the session one of Creative Classroom. Uh, Shruti ma'am, uh, brilliant presentation. If you're here, I can see that uh, you're in. Thank you so much. You were one of the best presentations or the assignment that I gave you. Uh, fantastic to see most of you coming in, uh, you know, doing. Again, uh, Mahvesh ma'am from Delhi SPIS. Thank you so much for coordinating and Tabassum ma'am as always, you've been encouraging. Right. So once again, welcome everybody to Creative Class Zooms. I, I just renamed it to Zoom because literally we are living on an entire platform right now. It's also interesting. It's also wonderful to see that uh, as teachers, we have to you know reinvent ourselves, relearn a lot of things. What you're going to do today in this uh, one hour of the session that I'm going to do today here, the second session of a Creative Classroom session, we're going to talk a little bit about the terms that are being used. As always, I say, as teachers, sometimes you and I need to be very clear what world are we living in. A lot of parents come in and they think that just because it's Zoom class, as teachers aren't doing enough. Trust me, the, the life has become busier and all of you can use the chat. You can uh, you know accept and, 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 and put your addition, suggestion. I'll be reading them. Once I admit everybody, I'll be on both the screens. But the entire idea of this is, yes, our lives have become busier. We are doing much more. And I think there is no compromise in the education that the teachers are giving. In today's session of Creative Classroom, we're going to talk about what are the online tools available. As always, the format of this entire session is, uh, I'm not going to burden you or bore you with all these sessions and, and how many tools are available. But rather, I'm going to just give you a basic I'm going to give you a basic idea of one or two tools and we'll use them so we can go back and we can immediately uh, use them in our next classes. And by the time we come again, we'll fresh, we have learned it and you can give me a feedback. Fair. So I was talking about Zoom. So my wife called, my wife calls me Zoom man. So, you know, earlier Iron Man was a favorite. Now it's Zoom man. I'm literally living on this cloud here uh, with morning sessions for children. There's a quiz I'm doing on weekend, Saturday. There's a learning organization for special children in Navi Mumbai, Nerul uh, called Akar with Dr. Chandra Lata. I do some sessions for them. And then we have got, uh, whenever little time I've got, I love to do my teacher's training session. So yes, I am the Zoom man that uh, I think hopefully she calls me sarcastically, but I take it as a, you know, anything from the wife, you take it as a positive criticism. You don't argue. One lesson I learned, we don't argue with your spouses in the pandemic because you can't go out with your friends. Right? So on that note, uh, we'll do a quick recap of what we did. And last time, we spoke about a very important lesson that how are the online classes paced up? Can anybody tell me what are the three things we learned about, three most important things we learned about our online session, three key things that you took away? Anybody can use a chat probably and I can, you know, they can see you all are there, you can hear me and that'll be wonderful. What are the three key lessons that you all saw? All right, fantastic. Yes, Madhya ma'am, uh, the, the uh, uh, Golden Sparrows Absolute Media Manager. It's Aisha ma'am from Jharkhand, I know now, right? Absolutely, there's a steel city. It's the engagement, Ashraf sir, all the way from Anandpur, I think. Uh, it's uh, Delhi. Engagement, time, and feedback. Now, the most important thing that you do is you immediately want to engage your learners. You want your learners to just join in. You don't want to do a waiting time. So, for example, we started at 4.30. A lot of people, because we have a chat room and a waiting room enable, sometimes you might have to have comfortable with the tools you're using. So immediately I go into what I call the circle time. Uh, Anna ma'am, if you can't hear, can you just re-log in? Probably that's the best way because I can see the chats and people are hearing us. Uh, thank you, Javed sir and Salman sir. Yes, engagement, time and feedback. So immediately what I call a circle time. What is your circle time? Last time you made a little quiz. So here's a different one. And every time I'll do a, a different from all the tricks that I do with the kids. So this circle time is find red objects around you. You can uh, unmute yeah, uh, yourself, speak up. Or you can use the chat box, whatever is convenient for you. So find any red objects around you and please tell me, put on the chat, whatever is comfortable for you. Right. Welcome, Sabah, ma'am, our academic uh, coordinator. All right. So you have a red la laptop. I didn't know that. That's interesting. Okay. Yeah. I know now how creative people think. Good. Uh, okay, Shruti, ma'am, the science teacher. We've got a red physics there. Latika, ma'am, says it's a red pillow. Brilliant. Okay. Interesting. 
Uh, red phone, I think, I think, Alfia, ma'am, good. I like the choices. Bottle that you have, the scarf they're using, the icon, brilliant, Shabana, ma'am. It's the icon. Yash says it's a mat. Uh, uh, Safia, ma'am, you have nothing red. I think you, you know, you you don't glow red with uh, anger. Brilliant. The moment I did it, and I saw a lot of you engaging yourself. Remember one rule of thumb. So this beautiful book called, uh, you know, How to Stick by Chip Brothers. So it's a very beautiful book. And at the end of it, if you want, I'll share the resources. It says, if I were to tell you, find any red thing in the world, it is more difficult than I tell you, find red things around you. It says, okay, thank you so much. Red in the sky education logo. Okay, I should give credit to my creative designer out there. So when you make your children narrow down, which we call converge, and I've got some science teachers here, it is more focused, it is more fun. Another little game we start with is this. Here you are. So have a look at the screen for 10 seconds, and then you know what the game is. A better game would be, I would not tell you anything about the screen, and then I'll come back after a few minutes, I will do my presentation and then I'll tell you, tell me the things you remember from it. Yet I'm not doing that kind of cheating with the teachers. You know, you deserve to know what I'm doing with you. But that is when you allow the children to be immediately focused. If there's a, if there's a section, a class starting at nine o'clock, you know that my teacher is going to do some really cool stuff for the first five minutes of circle time. I cannot miss those five minutes. So there you are. I think your time, 10 minutes are all up and I'm not going to even ask you what did you see there. Fair enough. So what are we going to do in today's session in that in the 60 minutes or rather now 55 minutes we have got with you? We're going to ask ourselves, how do I create? How do I make uh, my classes more creative? So what do I do to have a creative classroom around? So the agenda will be four things that I'm going to do with you today. And among the four things, it's very interesting. I'm going to teach you something about flip classroom. Last time we discussed about how to make excellent PowerPoint presentations. It could be very basic, but I felt so happy that some of the teachers took the effort. They realized what a PNG image is, how to create a background, what to have on the PowerPoint, what kind of words not to use, what kind of pictures not to use. And this is because your new learners are the millennials. And remember, the millennials are the BFB generation or you are the BFB generation. What is the BFB generation? Before Facebook generation. They are the Insta generation or Instagram generation. And I was talking the other day that if for a child, you can't even use the word Instagram. So the other day I was speaking to some children and I learned a lot from them. I said, are you on Instagram? And these girls started giggling with each other. You know, so my nieces and all of them, they started giggling. I'm like, what did I do wrong? Of course, I'm not like, Absolutely, you know, I have some gray hairs with me, but I think my, 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 my nieces like me. And they said, you know, Chachu, it's not Instagram. You call it Gram. I'm like, okay, that's a new terminology. So if you want to really know that terminology and lingo, you call it, are you on the Gram? And that is interesting, isn't it? So today's session, we're going to talk about what is a flipped classroom. And we're going to take up two words. Don't worry, I'm not going to bore you with these words, but the words are synchronous and asynchronous learning. And among the tool, I have two tools, one a surprise tool and one tool we're going to play around with called whiteboard.fi. And then uh, what is a non-academic task? So let's begin. Let's dive into absolutely fair enough. But before I dive, I showed you a screen with some red objects. Let me see how many red objects can you count. Speak out too loud, loud at yourself and type down all the red objects you could see in the screen before. And let me see how many can you get. 10, 15, 8, 5. All right, Anna. Okay, good. Thank you. You can get. All right, Ayar is saying a cherry, tomato. There is a red bus. There's heels. There's diamond. There are tomatoes. Buses. There are flowers. There. There is a. There is a lipstick. There are lips out there. Gems, silhouettes, diamonds. Wonderful. I think I can read out your answers. And I know you've been really wonderful students. How I wish your students become as uh, you know wonderful. So we saw some of them. Uh, yeah, balloon was there. So let me quickly go to your previous slide and. I think you did a good job by showing it. You can verify. Some of you did a fast one. Some of the things were not even there and you mentioned that. Well, I, I, don't, I don't mind it, but most of you got it right. It's just a, what I call the circle time that you're doing. Absolutely. We, so I call it the word pounce. We pounce with Alfia Mams. All the answers out there. Brilliant, Alfia Mams. There's a thumbs up for you. You gave all the answers. I don't know if you looked at the screen and said or you did before, but I trust you. But this is what I call the circle time. Last time we had a little quiz with you. So every time we'll do something new. You can play a Game of Thrones music track and say, which song is this? You know, it could be anything that you like, your personality, what you like to do, and then you take it forward from there. Right. 
Uh, all right, Ayarsa says he took a screenshot. I, Ayarsa, I know you're talking to teenagers. Now you are smarter than most of us think about it. Brilliant. Oh, this is smart, isn't it? All right, so this is what we're going to do today. Uh, we're going to teach you something, some things of theory, some things of practical, and then we'll probably take a lot of questions. Uh, as I started doing the online classes and probably from June, when most of the schools reopened themselves of so first week or second week of June, I started looking at myself and said, okay, are we going to do five days of classes? And uh, I'm using Zoom as a platform and I'll tell you what are the other ideas we're going to share about. Uh, some of you may be using Google and that's absolutely fine. In fact, I strongly recommend that. So how do I start thinking outside the box? And remember what I said last time, stop thinking outside the box. Stop saying that there is box itself. Why do you limit yourself? Why is your creativity so hindered? Why are you putting latches and hinges into it? It's a very popular game we've been playing. We did it even in our school. I want to do that with you. I'm sure you can took up a piece of paper or mentally you can do it. Connect all the nine dots with four straight lines without lifting your pen and a pencil. If you have something around you, you can use it. If I had to show you my whiteboard, I would have loved to do the whiteboard FI. I would do it and we will do the same game in another half an hour's time as well. Right. So those who, get, who got it immediately can put a yes in the waiting room or in the yes in the answers. And I think I will quickly go ahead and... All right. I'm already using... Okay. Sorry, but whoever used it, I can see the annotations. I can tell you uh, who used it. But but fact was, I said four straight lines and... Uh, all right, so so you can rewrite it and I can tell you if that is right or wrong, but no, that is not true. Uh, Ayar, Ayar, you did the drawing. So Ayar, it's, it's not, you have to do it again, but perhaps because you're overlapping some of them. You you overlap one of them, Ayar, so go ahead and sh share again. Okay, most of you know the trick. It's, a, it's an old trick, right? So there you are. All right, again, it's one straight line. Yes, yes, Madhya ma'am, that's wonderful. You're doing good. But again, you're overlapping, you're missing out on some of them. Most of you may have done it. Yes, so anyone want to try it again? And then I'll, I'll go ahead. So a simple trick here is, hold on, I have a waiting room, so I quickly have to add a few people in. A very simple trick about it is this. So I'm going to stop sharing and I'll reshare. So you will uh, probably see the screen properly and better. And you know, uh, first time I did a, when I did my workshop, I had 180 teenagers, literally 180 teenagers on a Zoom, and I was going crazy, having no idea. Some of them were annotating, some of them were writing something smart, some of them were being very funny. And then I went back and did a tutorial on Zoom. So when you're doing Zoom, you can always stop sharing if somebody's annotated, somebody written something, scribbled, and want to go back, or else on the screen, for example, right now I'm doing it, I can disable annotation. So there's small, small tricks that you go ahead if you're living like I'm living on Zoom, the Zoom man, right? So this is what is a simple trick. But today is not about tricks. It's about some real tools. My first theory for you is what I call the flip classroom. Now, remember, all of you have something very similar. If I have a child, I, let's say if I've got two kids in the same house and I'm going to do five days a week, it might be challenging for that parent to have all the classes at the same time. This is exactly where an amazing concept comes up. And this concept of fifth classroom is, is brilliant. Why do I say it's brilliant? It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's something very strongly recommended. Another book I strongly recommend called Sal Khan, Salman Khan from the Khan Academy, which was endorsed by uh, uh, no, none other than Microsoft's Bill Gates. In his book, The One World School, uh, school house rather, he talks about the in, influence of flip classroom. And what's a flip classroom? So right now you're learning from me directly, isn't it? You are sitting here and it's very difficult to go back and watch the recording. That's something very, very common, right? The research says that although today one hour you will not feel bad, you will enjoy it, even if it may be a little slower for you, but you will see and you learn something new today. But if I were to ask you to watch the same recording somewhere else, you will not have the time, you will not have the passion, the energy, or even just the will to watch to it. That's a very important thing. So what you do is you can't do your live classes every day between the live classes. So I recommend to have one off day or two off days, which are not non-teaching days, but you flip the classroom. What I mean by a flip classroom, you give them an assignment or something to study before they come to the classroom. And for that, I will recommend a, a tool called Ed Puzzle. I'm not using Ed Puzzle today. In the next session, I'm going to do a lot of activity around Ed Puzzle. As I said, I'm going to teach you the tool and teach you how to use the tool as we go ahead. So, for example, what are my flipped classrooms I can do even before without the teacher? 
And some of the resources I learned, which are really amazing, was one of them I really loved was called the museum visit. Now, I know just watching a museum is boring on a YouTube, but there are 4D angles that people have done on a museum. A teacher will have to make an effort, maybe make it in 2x and watch the entire video or watch 15 minutes. And then every child has to visit the same video of the same museum and they have to tell us what did they like the most. So it's like a real time video that they're visiting, but they're also writing an essay on it. You can have a Google form and assignment. So this is an amazing tool that I really learned that you can do about it. Another thing besides singing song, they can also go and just do observations. A flipped classroom need not always be academic, which is why I said non-academic task. As teachers, sometimes we feel that, okay, if I only give lesson, essay, maths, then only a parent will be happy. Perhaps asking your child to sit in the kitchen and observe the steps of what they are, what, what the parent is cooking. Right? Absolutely simple. It's an English task. It's an algorithm, but they have to write down at least 10 steps of whatever is happening in the kitchen or a particular recipe. They have to write it down. It might look a very daunting task, but believe me that once hour or 45 minutes when you're not taking a class, it's a physical class for them. The teacher waits after that. And they say, okay, I'm going to wait for this time, go watch the video and come back. So this is one of the lessons I thought was very relevant. I'll show you some of the things that I found very, very good. One of them was this museum visit. It's a Washington DC museum. You can see how profoundly magnificent this stuffed animal is, the elephant that you see. So now what you do is all I have to open up and say, all right, you saw an elephant on your screen. I'm opening up the chat right now and best way, remember engagement is very, very important. Engagement is the crux of an online classroom and not necessarily every child in the class will be engaged, but the ones who, who talk at least will make sure the others are listening to it. So it's not one way speaking. Remember the rule of the thumb is a teacher does not speak at least, you know, 12 minutes before a break. So I hope I had got my 12 minutes already set. So here is your engagement. Tell me something about the elephant you see on the screen very quickly. What are the elephants? What anything about the elephant on the screen? Write on the chat. I'm, I'm okay with somebody unmuting themselves, but immediately mute yourself also. Okay, I can see the tusk. All right, Kainat ma'am says, edgy. Hey, what's that? High? Uh, heavy? Perhaps? Okay, huge. All right. Oh, these are the terms I need to learn. Uh, okay, it's an African. Ashraf, sir, that's the kind of answer I love. It's an African elephant. So the feature of an African elephant is big ears, huge tusk. Tell me two more things that you can think about. How old do you think this creature is? Okay, I know it's very old, Latika, ma'am. Uh, how old? Yeah, it is older than my mother-in-law. I'm sure about that. But how old is it? It's a mammoth. All right, I enjoy. Maybe, uh, Aisha, ma'am, it, it may not be a mammoth, but we can go ahead and discuss about it. The trunk is boneless. Oh, Saba, ma'am, this is a brilliant answer from you. Wonderful. It's a fact. I like the fact. All right. Ayasa says, 10 year. An elephant lives longer in captivity than in wild because of poaching. So many points we can think about it, isn't it? Uh, there are two kinds of elephants, the Asian and the African elephant. And then the conversation can only be around it. So I'll take, I'll take some more time on Liberty on the museum visit. And uh, all right, Salman sir, thank you so much. The skin is withered, Latika ma'am said. Uh, the average span is 60 years. Okay, there's a movie called Dumbo. I love the movie, by the way, of the flying elephant. I'm enjoying the conversation. And when you're reading out on the chat, the chat box is open out there. The teacher is telling the students, I am there for you. The key point, the takeaway point is not the elephant. So leave the elephant in the room out there, uh, the elephant in the picture for that matter. But what we are telling is, okay, Nilofar, ma'am, the eyes are closed. Probably some of you also must be sleeping now. So wake up, everybody. Wake up. All right. But the fact that the teacher is acknowledging a student is the key point in engagement. I'm going to take a, take a little detour now, and I'm going to show you something else. With the museum visit, there are something called the zoo visits also. Let's say if I was, oh, okay, Bharti said it's a malnutrition elephant. All right, Bharti, if the pandemic has an effect on all of us, I think the elephant is getting enough of it. It's we who are not getting enough of all the zomatos and the swiggies. But interesting point, good takeaways, good conversations. Let me go and share a screen about this. Literally, I will take you to a zoo now. See what you can see in a zoo. Very interesting. And these are some really wonderful resources you can do. So here I'm sharing the screen again. And this time I'm going to go to a YouTube video. Although, I've and remember, I've downloaded it as a backup. You know, we are living in times where anything can go wrong. Technology is still not the, our best friend. So hopefully you can see my screen. I have, uh, I'm, I'm stopping the screen again. And because I, I have to do, share the computer sound, put the screen on, YouTube video comes in here, and I'm playing the video. Value Zoo. 
My mum and dad built the zoo from a tiny little reptile park to what it is today. Isn't it? Uh, just put a yes if you can hear uh, the, the video well. I'll skip the, a lot of it. It's a four minute video. I'll not do four minutes, I'll do two minutes of it. But enjoy the video. Thank you so it's much. Incredible. Let's go check it out. Here at Australia Zoo, you can meet all of these awesome animals. We've got this gorgeous macaw here, a beautiful little koala. This is Jenny, the Burmese python, and my favorite, Andre the alligator. Have a go at this guy. Here at Australia Zoo, everything is hands-on. Woohoo! Oh, a wombat. Excuse me. Hey, mate. Oh, I absolutely love wombats. They're one of my favorite Australian animals. They're kind of like Australia's bulldozer of the bush, and you wouldn't think so with those little stumpy legs, but they can actually run up to 40 kilometers per hour. It's pretty cool. Welcome to Southeast Asia. This is one of our beautiful tiger cubs. Just like me and Bindi, he's the next generation of Australia Zoo. This is Bindi's Island. I'm here with a few of our beautiful lemurs and they definitely love their fruit. They're such special animals. Kids from the age of four can visit Australia Zoo and feed our beautiful giraffes. <laughs> and our gorgeous zebras. Here at Australia Zoo, even the littlest people can meet the biggest animals. This is... All right, I think we can go on. How many did you... I don't know, if the ones who don't like animals, I'm sorry for you, but we could go on and enjoy the zoo as much time as we want. Was it interesting? Was it nice to see the entire animal around the zoo? It's a four-minute video. Just a quick comment on how many animals do you see? Any animal that you love in particular, go ahead and tell me about it. All right, thank you. Thank you, Ms. Ma Ma'am. It's interesting. The lemur, the cola, the giraffe, or oh, 12, all right, tiger, zebra, lemur, lion. Wonderful, isn't it? Now, now remember the rule of the thumb. Fantastic. It's good with you, sir. I, I end pounce on that. So, wombat. All right, Shruti Ma'am, like the zebra. Now, what is interesting is the communication here. All right. And what is also important for a good teacher is to not do the entire video all the time. I have a four minutes, I would have gone ahead and, okay, uh, all right, so the, uh, Apira ma'am has said 11 animals, I'm happy you counted. I had no, the, not this question in my mind, but now you are, you're, what are you, you're doing a pre-monitoring the teacher. I'm happy about it. So you are, you're kind of second guessing the teacher, so you know the nature of the teacher. And there is Ms. Ma'am, I was writing down all the answers, so we're going to acknowledge you. So from the giraffe, the macaw, to the python, to the kangaroo. What python was it, by the way? This is what I call the zoo visit. Show a little bit of it. And in the flip classroom, you can ask them to go and watch them at the leisure, but write down about, don't have to write down all the animals. That could be one of the game, but write down about any one animal. And why don't you do a PowerPoint or a small video or a small role play with the animal you like the most? So this is the kind of thing that you can do. Uh, just, just mute yourself, the ones who just joined in. Uh, so you can hear yourself. Now, who is this guy? I can take a different take on this particular one. This person, this boy, is hit. this little one out there, so I can annotate, uh, annotate out there. So if you see the, all right, hold on, there's a new part. Thank you so much. Uh, just, she's muted herself. So this person is Steve Irvin. Steve Irvin, yes, thank you so much. Uh, one of my favorite uh, naturalists who unfortunately was stung by a stingray and then he, and, he, and, he, and he died underwater. But that little boy, the cute little kid, is the boy Robert we just saw now. A lot of conversations can go around it. Was it dangerous? Is he doing the right thing around parenting? But the point is you already started creativity. So the only funda that I'm going to give you, the only theory I'm going to give you was this theory. So my principle number, I think that should be principle two or three. We did some other principles also. My principle is uh, we have to look around. You know, the world of nature has so many things that we need to talk about. We have some amazing concepts. We have got some amazing ideas around it. So for example, 
you know, the very idea of having extra vein in your leg during the bypass surgery, those of you know that, right? The one you use for the bypass on the heart is a vein from the leg. The idea of it came from the vein in the leaves. So when you see the leaves, there are veins going around. And some of the researchers did the research and they said, wow, if I look at a leaf more closely, I can actually see any vein can be gone anyway. The fact that your online class should not be restricted to a small laptop or a mobile screen is the message I want to give you here. So here is a conversation again. Tell me any five inventions that were inspired by the nature. A good classroom has to be active, the engaging part of it. So on this note, go ahead and tell me and we'll conclude the first part of it. As I said, Rahul Dravid, session one, session two and session three. So go ahead and tell me. All right. The plane. Okay. Interesting. Can you put the word also as it uh, from which animal are we even better? Wheels from where, Safiya, ma'am? So go ahead. Uh, okay. Gravity and apple. Okay. Nature. I accept that. Yoga Bharti from which animal? Go ahead and give me that. Fire. Interesting. Birds. Alfia ma'am says that. Brilliant. I'm enjoying the answers that you're giving in. All right. Tell me some more and I'll tell you the ones I've searched out. Fire. Fire. I think I hope you're not looking at the Mowgli story and saying that Mowgli invented the fire and the animals were very amazed with it. The entire process is by the sky blue. Okay. So you're talking around nature. I'll, I'll reiterate and repeat my question. Five inventions that were inspired by, say, animals. Make it very easy. All right, the different postures. So I take that. The asanas, Bharti ma'am says that. Brilliant. The jaguar ka by jaguar. Alfie ma'am, if there was a point for that, you will get 100 or 100 for a wrong answer that you gave me. But I love a teacher who can think like that. The jaguar, the symbol. Well, I think you are right, perhaps. You know, the speed of jaguar is what the car maker did it. By the way, it's an Indian brand now, isn't it? Jaguar. Ratan Tata has, is owning it, very, making us very proud. The natural birthing from all the animals. Oh, brilliant, Sneha ma'am. That's so amazing from a perspective of a mother, maybe. All right. No, no, I understand, Alpha ma'am, but it was interesting. So here are some of the answers I thought of. And you know, we, we look at the camouflage and, and, and I'll come to you, Sabha ma'am, the architecture and absolutely fantastic. The dragonfly inspired the helicopter. And you know, it may not be always the answers. You can ask the student, the sonar by dolphins, brilliant Ashraf, sir. I, I am amazed at the answer, right? Uh, clothing out of the skin. No, 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 not the fur. I'm against the fur part of it or the leather hide. I'm an SDG activist, but I don't know, bullet train by cheetah, maybe Naila, ma'am, but the camouflage. By the way, one trivia fact that do you know the way your fingerprints are, that it's a unique, the zebra patterns are also unique. Not one zebra has the same thing, uh, you know, the print as the other zebra. Interesting, right? That's how I think the mummies find the baby zebras. Eco location, somebody says. Now, this is an anthill, and this is not Antilla, by the way. I live in Mumbai, but no, it's not Antilla. But yes, this is an anthill, and all the tall buildings, somebody said architecture, you use from the animals. Now, this is your contact lenses. So, all of you wearing contact lenses, that's a chameleon, that's a gecko. So, they use the gecko eyes, submarine, wonderful, the sonar or the echo from the bats, or the bulletin from Kingfisher. Is it Vijay Malia Salman, sir? But fair enough. So, on that note, all I'm asking you is if you, even if you ask your kids to just go and observe a garden outside or, or look at a leaf and they may not find a lot of leaves in the pandemic, but the idea is a lot of our books are deprived of the connection with nature. You know, I did a quiz on animals uh, last Sunday or the Sunday before. Trust me, it was so much fun. Sometimes we forget how amazing the world of animals is about. So take a minute, Dito. Uh, I hope we have finished your first section on flip classroom. Any questions, any suggestion on flip classroom? Using non-academics, you can still have a class going on, but they don't. They need not be looking at you at your screen or with you all the time. And this will bring us to the new vocabulary. Any suggestion, any input? Is it going fine? A quick uh, yes would be good enough for me to get started on on new some new subject here. So I'm keeping a track of the time as well as we're going ahead. Thank you so much. All right, look. So here we are talking about two terms, only the terms, because, you know, sometimes uh, parents come and throw a lot of things. So when you next your PTM comes in, you can say, you know, we teach synchronously and asynchronously also. So which one is right for you? Who can just tell me a little difference? What do you mean by a synchronous learning and an asynchronous learning? Anybody? It's a long word. So you can say S for the answer, and A for the answer. All right. So I'll ask uh, uh, sometime on open-ended question, we'll have less answers. So I'll ask her. Uh, okay, Sabah ma'am, formal and informal, I like the answer. So if I say I'm using, I'm asking you to go on YouTube and watch a video, is it synchronous or asynchronous? Tell me S or A. I'm asking you to go on a YouTube and watch a YouTube video. All right. 
All right, I get A, 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 and then S, S. So making a donkey out of me, S. Okay, all of you saying A. Is it a copycat effect that everyone is in synchronous with each other and all of you are wrong, by the way? Interesting, right? Oh, thank you. Yeah, Shruti ma'am just like say, my letter starts from S, so let me try S right now. All right, so, okay. So I'll give you a basic idea about it. Both of them are online. Sometimes people think that asynchronous means offline. No, it means asynchronous is when you're doing an online teaching without a real time interaction. So the reason I asked you about uh, watching a YouTube video where it's not teacher led, it's not teacher generated, it's not teacher uh, interfering. So it's an asynchronous there. It's still online, this, like, the, like the video I shared of Robert Irwin. If I were to go and ask you to watch that video without my intervention, it's an asynchronous learning. Anything that happens real time, uh, as if now on a chat box, on a, on a podcast, on a video conferencing, is a synchronous learning. Even if your phone call, if you're on the teacher, yeah, live and recorded, we can put it that way. Absolutely, Latika, ma'am. You know, you don't argue with a teacher with 16 years of IGCSC experience. Isn't it, Latika, ma'am? So we accept what you say. You know, uh, good students know how to, you know, make the teachers happy also. A little screen out there. Anyone wants the video or the presentation of it, I will do both. I'll share both of it. What you're doing right now is synchronous. When you're going to watch the video, it will be asynchronous, right? There you are. Okay, now on that note, okay, this is a little, uh, uh, we are doing a life skill program. Anyone wants to promote it, let me know. For the students beginning from 31st, so we're trying to do a lot of new normal learning of life skill. So you can ask me about it later. So less of a little promo, but here is what we're going to do now. We did a lot of creativity ideas. Any idea that you like so far, what I call the three, two, one bridge. It's again a tool that we learn. Uh, most of you have learned it in your IB classes. Perhaps it's a very common one. Three, two, one is any three things you learned today. Any two ideas that new came to it and one as a suggestion. So we'll not do the two, one right now. Any three things, you can put one thing that you learned so far. What did you learn new? Anything before we go on to our next uh, session, which is a very interesting one where you will have to do synchronous with me doing together. Anything that you, you took back from today's session. Uh, Zahra ma'am, just write it down. Okay, all of you love the flipped classroom. I'm happy about it. We'll, we'll speak more about flipped classroom in the later classes as we do head. Circle time, absolutely, Latika ma'am. I am a big evangelist of circle time. I don't start my class without it. Shazi, you say synchronous and asynchronous, brilliant. The vocabulary, absolutely. You know, as a hota hai, kabhi kabhi ke parent aake bolta hai, ye sab tamko malum hai. And then, and then, you know, parents take us for granted. We say, huh, aap synchronous padate ke unsynchronous padate? And the parent like, nee, 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 aap jo kar rahe bahut achcha hai. You know, sometimes a teacher needs to know the language and the vocabulary so that the parents don't intimidate them, right? So I don't want you to do that for all the time, but that is one of the lessons I would ask you. All right, Kainath ma'am, uh, if you're a naturalist like I am, Australia Zoo, I love the Australia Zoo. I would go back and watch the video again if I were you. Right, let's take, let's take something else. I will not go into the idea of creativity, but believe me, being creative is nothing as a boon, nothing as a God gift, nothing as you're born with. It's an ability. The more you spend time researching something, learning about something, the more you think about something, you will get this ability. You know, none of us were creative when we started the pandemic. Today, all of us know Zoom so well. Trust me, trust me. Of course, I've been, I've been working on online platform for quite some time. For the first time, I used Zoom was after the pandemic. And there's no shame about it. You know, I had a friend who uses Zoom for two years. I asked a lot about it. And I, I personally was entered the classroom and the boardroom. But my own sessions were this. So absolutely, yes, Bharti, following the instincts and feeling the pulse is what good husbands do and good creative people also do. Right? They know what to speak and when to speak about it. The tool for today's session is a very interesting tool. Uh, this is a tool that by conversation with some of the teachers came in. And uh, in fact, uh, you know, at home, my spouse asked me that, can we create a whiteboard for the students? A whiteboard. And I did some research and I stumbled upon this amazing whiteboard, this beautiful thing called whiteboard.fi. And like Aisha ma'am said, all the tools I try to show here are free tools. Uh, of course, Twinkle was free for the last two months. There's a code for Twinkle, what I mentioned. Some of you mentioned that it's not free anymore. I will try to find the code for twinkle.co.in. It's a great resource for primary teachers primarily, but it's a good one. What is Whiteboard FI? Whiteboard FI is a free tool where you can create whiteboards and I can see what you're writing. And I'm going to do that in this class with you today. But before that, let me show a small two minutes video of how this works up and you will enjoy it. So remember the uh, word, it's whiteboard.fi, right? It's nothing, not, not anything else, it's .fi. 
yeah vaji sir blessing in this guy is a zoom but believe me i am switching to google classroom more zoom is just easier but this is a second share with you enjoy the share it's really interesting and then we'll go ahead after that okay this i have to close it no more rhinos i'm going to whiteboard the fi i uh, i'm going to stop the screen again because i've not done the computer share again okay hold on right i'm sharing the whiteboard now just tell me if you can see it in a minute can you hear the jingle everybody yeah oh fantastic thank you madhya ma'am good right interesting i don't know how many of you uh, probably this is there you are okay yes uh, tanzeem ma'am microsoft has an inbuilt one probably because we don't not using so much of it we can use menti uh, probably another tool i would love to to do with you but we'll just go to whiteboard right now and zoom has an inbuilt whiteboard also so you can use multiple resources nothing restricted but this was interesting i thought i'll do a little whiteboard with you if you can see my screen now so i'm going to whiteboard.fi with with uh, all of you now and we're going to play it together it's a very easy tool i'm creating a classroom so here if you can see keep seeing my screen i'm seeing a new classroom so i'm saying creative teachers okay so that's my classroom name and as i go down it's all okay everyone's enabled i will allow you to enable image uploads also if that's true and i've created a classroom right here now the fact it's a simple classroom you can access it by just using this this one or the code you can either just click on it so i'm putting on the chat box you can either click on this just take up and click on it if if two or three you know few of you can join in it will be wonderful right here we are thank you tanzeem ma'am all right so you can click on this or oh, sorry i just sent a private message to what you sir i'm sending to everybody in the meeting so here you are you can click on it if you are on the chat on the laptop or there's a code or you can just go to whiteboard.fi and there's a code out there either click on the code and then we will play a little game out there on the whiteboard with you so here is a teachers whiteboard i can do anything so as a teacher my spellings are really bad i'm going to do a spelling exam with you there was a maths going on if you are using a mobile device it's already easier to do that and then my classes are there i can see the ones who are joining in now all right oh brilliant i've got alfia ma'am ariba ma'am javed sir brilliant all of you join in latika ma'am this is interesting to see all of you joining in as you do so you can see a teacher can see both their own screen and they can screen the students screen all right so now we're doing quick game around with all of you all of you have to spell three words and see these are the most common spelling errors that we do please spell leisure All right, there you are. Spell leisure. All right, don't worry. You, I know your spelling will be bad, so it's absolutely okay how you spell it. But go ahead and see. You can't be worse than my spelling. No, no, not on the chat, ma'am. On the whiteboard. This is a game we are playing on the board. So even those who are not just enjoy the whiteboard, it's absolutely okay. All right, app. See now, a teacher can see what you're doing. I can go back. I can clear my whiteboard. So I can go here. I can say uh, clear whiteboard. So I'm clearing it, and or I can give you formative feedback immediately. All right. So so there you have cleared your whiteboard as you go ahead. My second spelling is easy one. It's vacuum. Spell vacuum. Okay. So I've got uh, some students. I'm going to clear it again and quickly spell vacuum. It could be anything you have to do. 
do you realize how simple it is? The idea of doing it is not about, you know, your spelling abilities. Please, you know, if you have uh, good spelling, I'm happy. If you don't have, congratulations, welcome to the club. Me and my daughter are already there in the spelling club. But the idea is, Purvi, ma'am, you're not able to join. Uh, probably uh, some of you, uh, I, I don't know, uh, we will redo it again. But just enjoy the screen. The last word I'm giving you right now, and before we, we close up, uh, what word should I give you? Let me give a, let me give a easy word now, foreign. You know, these are not the words I'm testing you with, but I'm just trying to. So I'm going to clear the screen or I'm going to let you write on the same screen. Let me see if you have a screen there. Oh, yes, uh, what do you sir? Let me see if I can see some of you. Uh, I, I can see foreign there. Madhya ma'am is there. Mizma ma'am screen is out there. Oh, Rabia ma'am, you have really good writing for that matter. Uh, Shazia's, uh, there was a big blot out there. It's okay. Uh, Shabana ma'am has it. So as a teacher, I can keep going up and down. You can see some of the screens now. Now I can see Shruti ma'am, good writing again. Salman sir, write down. What do you say? I can see whatever you wrote down, whatever language it is, but it's good. Zara ma'am, brilliantly written down the word foreign. Okay. Good enough. We can do a lot many things. We can have games. We can ask you to make annotations. We can make you have fun around it. This is something you can do as a simple game. And this is again a free tool that we're using about it. All right. I'm stopping the screen again and I'll go to something else and we'll take a couple of questions as we go ahead. So simple, simple ideas, simple common subjects. What you need to do is simple there. Right. Another tool I want to teach you, and this I did with some great success with my kids out there in the morning class. And uh, don't worry, sir, it's absolutely okay. As long as you're doing good, you're brilliant. What, what else we can do is something I learned, which is very interesting, called Bitmoji. Now, this is a side one. You can make your own emoji for that matter. So if I were to open up, uh, you know, so you have to download this Bitmoji. And I don't know if I can just share it with my own wife. And then maybe uh, she will know what I'm doing and I can put up the screen there. So hold on. So Bitmoji is when you want to make your classes a little personal. You want to say hello to your friends. You can say there you are. So I can, I can download it and it will, it will ask me to take a selfie. And after the selfie, it will almost create your lookalike. And, uh, uh, so it is very, it's very interesting for the students. It's like the teacher is talking about it. Despite the fact that you're not there, I'll try to share one of my emojis that I created. You can give yourself, Ashraf said you use it. Isn't it interesting? These are simple tools about it. All right. My little teacher, Misbah was talking about it, but these are small things you do to become more interesting to that. All right. So I just send it to my wife. If I can open up my WhatsApp, I don't know. So hold on, we will do a recap, but before that we'll do an exit uh, thing also. So any questions, anything, I will show you my screen. Uh, keep yourself unmuted, anyone, so others can really uh, see it around. Let me see if I can pull up one of the Bitmojis for you. And then I can, I, I will do a Menti game with you. All of you are aware of menti.com? Uh, anyone put on the chat and I'll do a Menti thing here with you. Okay, hold on. I'm doing a menti.com with you again. One minute. This, hold on. I have to mute everybody. All right. Finally, I've got some uh, less background noise. Uh, okay, there is a menti.com that we're doing, which is even more interesting. You can you can immediately do a screen share with your students and. There you are. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I've just put a small menti.com. I'm going to put five for you and I'm presenting it. Just go to menti.com again. And uh, this is also a small tool that we use. It can be an exit slip also. But as you write down, so go to menti.com and write down the code 604169. Just do that, 604169. And we're gonna, we're gonna, uh, ending up in five minutes from now. All right, so 604169, go to menti.com. And now, what did you learn from today? Any words that come to your mind, anything you learned about today, you have to put it down. 
It could be zoo, it could be flip, it could be a book resource, it could be the game we played, whiteboard, it could be just fun, it could be interesting, it could be creative, it could be synchronous, asynchronous. So go on, go to menti.com on your mobile screen or on your uh, laptop or, and put the code I've given you. I'm sorry, again, I put it on a, on a private chat because I'm putting it to everyone here. This is the code and the screen. It's You can see the screen now, 40, 60, 41, 69, right? So just go on and write it down and you will learn. This is, again, it's, it's not exactly free. You can you can use it three times, but I think I can reuse all the time again and again. Fantastic. I'm already getting some answers from some of you. So here is it. So you learn about flip class. And can you see the screen, right? The, uh, I can see the number of participants also and all those who are adding to it. Fantastic. I'm getting few people handing on. See, not necessarily everyone will learn everything. But some of you will learn. Okay, Bitmoji. I'm so happy you like my Bitmoji. It was one attempt to just make it a little interesting, right? Uh, there you are. Uh, I would have loved to show you some Bitmojis of mine. I will probably put on a screen share with you. And then, okay, great. I'm getting answers already. So go to menti.com. Those who are still uh, not there, 60, 41, 69. You can put three entries. I can make more entries. I can make less entries. But see the, how the way the words forming. If you see the screen here, it's beautifully. The kids like it because they're seeing something synchronously. It's a synchronous effort that everyone's putting it. You can ask them, okay, I'm sorry, Vajir sir, my Bitmoji, I'll, I'll, I have to stop sharing the screen, so I'm not putting it across. Maybe I'll, I'll send you on my own. Uh, hold on, I have to. There you are. I will try to put my screen on and then I will, I will, I will show you there. Menti.com, right? So I'm seeing a lot of your screens out there. Uh, I, I think we'll just 20 good pointers. Fantastic. It's the, it's the, it's the input and the efforts. Let me see if I can immediately go to my screen. I'm going to close this one. Brilliant. There's some really cool answers. So hold on. Menti, Bitmoji can wait. My Bitmoji can wait, but I would love for you to see the amount of answers. 25. It's brilliant. All of you are participating and it's good lessons you're learning from today. The way I love the way things are going on, it'll be downloaded. You can share with your students. I will do that. Probably we should have a group again, not one more WhatsApp group. But remember, one lesson I've learned is WhatsApp is a good tool for communication, not for teaching. So remember that uh, anyone who says WhatsApp is where I'm using for teaching. Yes, for remote places where the net connection is very poor, it's a great tool. But you may have to learn some tools. I'm not going to bombard you and overburden with a lot of tools. We learned very few tools today, but the tools you can immediately use whiteboard.fi, you did bitmoji and the menti.com. So fair enough. Thank you, all of you. Uh, as, as most of you are still writing up all, it's good. I, I love you, but now I'll stop sharing the screen. And the, the last thing from here, since some of you, I promise you, I have to do, so I just put my WhatsApp up, which is kind of uh, too personal there, but I'll still share a little bit of bitmojis for you. And before we go on, your last comments on recap on what did you do? I'll try to put my WhatsApp. If you still want to see me, uh, how do I look uh, in an emoji format? I'll, I'll do that for you in a while. But let's quickly do the recap of what we learned today. I think you did far better recap than I could. But uh, this is what we did. Uh, any good classroom, you have to always end up with a recap. It's a simple formula called TTT. Tell, teach, tell. You know, you have to tell them what you taught them in the beginning. I did a small out outline of it. Then you tell them what you what they learned at the end of it. So this is a recap. We did a circle time on our lead lot of day. Yeah, like uh, and then the flip classroom. We visited some of the museum. Rather, we visited a zoo. And then the last two things that we did is we went and did asynchronous and synchronous learning. Yes, it's T -T, uh, tell, teach, and tell, Sabah, ma'am. It's TTT. You tell them again, which is the last part of it, which is where the feedback comes in. Uh, our engagement, our theory, and our feedback time. And look around. I said nature and then whiteboard. Thank you so much, all of you. Again, anyone who thinks that the kids eight years and above can join a life skill course, we're doing a master life skill course. Uh, thank you so much, uh, Kanta ma'am, for all the stickers that you are su suggesting to me. This is a master life skill course. Anyone wants it, drop a message to me. I'll share these screenshots with you. And your presentation is always yours. I'm your mindset coach, Daud Waid. Uh, you can always drop an email to me. 
please do that. I'll be so happy if you can use any one tool. So this time, the only assignment I'm giving you is use any one of the tools. It could be Menti, Bitmoji, Flip uh, Classroom, uh, Whiteboard JR, and tell me about it. Nothing makes a teacher more happy when you actually use it. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you, all of you. I promise you a, a, a time. You've got a couple of minutes for a few questions, and, and then I'll show you my Bitmoji there. Right there. So, so here we go. Any question, any suggestion, and we are on it. And I am opening up my screen with uh, my emoji out there. Okay, I don't know how to make it large enough for you, but since I promise you, can it can be done with students? Yeah, I think so, isn't it, ma'am? We can do it. So here is a lot of my conversation on the WhatsApp, but you see that little icons out there? That's Mr. Daoud Waid for you. Well, I look more handsome uh, in real time, but I'll accept this emoji. It, it takes your photo, it allows your camera, it allows your photograph, a little hair out there. It allows you to wear a t-shirt, a jeans, so I chose a coat and a pant. Then there are a lot of things out there. You have to use a little tool out there, so you have to keep shifting between uh, the, the keyboard note pants, but it's fun uh, because your teacher says, I'm waiting. So, you know, before class starts, it says, I'm waiting. Or, or you're gonna have an angry face. Believe me, uh, you know, I'll always have some bit more just for my wife. I say, oh, I'm always there for you and uh, my life is on Zoom, but, but thank you so much for you, sir. There you are. So you saw my uh, bit more out there. All of you can create one. When you create one, you can stay, keep that one and you can use it all the time. You can put it on your WhatsApp screens. You can put it on your uh, presentations. And the kids are like, oh, I know that looks like my teacher. It is your teacher. So there you are again. Thank you once again, all of you for all the effort and the time. Uh, once again, all of you uh, from uh, Shepherd Path and Kenrich International, the schools which have encouraged me to do this session and some of my friends out here, uh, very close by, that, that wonderful teacher from DPS. Yes, Bharti, thank you so much, Shruti ma'am, Shazi, Shabana ma'am, Nadia, Kainat ma'am, all of my team members from Sky Education. Uh, thank you and we hopefully leave you much better, more creative than you started with. And we will see you again next week with another session of Creative Classrooms.